Hi, Nir. Uh, this is a video response, a little bit of a shorter video uh, by comparison to the, the, like the one and a half hour long video. Uh, but we're trying out the sword with Rogetsu and as a concept trying to do HP damage to the enemy instead of uh, break damage, even though agility really does lean towards break damage. Uh, but I'm relying on that stat bonus agility from Rogetsu to both do damage and break damage. And then we're going to try to tip everything in our favor with Hunter. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll just kind of looking at the... Uh, I, I chose Gambler because they have a lot of agility. Uh, the other candidate was Dark Knight because they have a lot of strength. Even though they can't use a shield. Uh, so, job affinities, I have the gambler stacked up just for the, what's the word called? The agility, the excess agility as, as you go over 800% onward. Uh, the assassin, 800% onward, also for the agility. Uh, samurai, 600%. Uh, the trigger the combo ability effect and get uh, parry buffs going. And also to critical hit with my combo ability effects um, in this case on the corsair the first and second slots have one is the sword soul and the second the sword expertise pardon me so if i'm trying to go for damage i'm going to try to go for the sword expertise uh, two normal attacks and then the rogetsu uh, then i have just for convenience i have void knight 600 percent for the haste I have Sword Fighter 400% for the uh, to unlock Rogetsu and also increase the damage dealt of my sword combo abilities by about 40%. Uh, same bucket as all my gear. And then also for the hold normal attack, you fly towards the enemy and try to close the gap after maybe a Rogetsu. Uh, Hunter 400% probably would have been really good. On, on this particular build, I think, but eh, we'll, we'll keep going. So, uh, Dragoon 400% for the uh, haste during Lightbringer, or not haste, uh, in attack speed. And then Lionheart for the uh, survival uh, invincibility during Lightbringer. And then... Uh, Let's see. And I happen to have an Ifrit and Sylph primary blessing, even though I don't know if I'm actually going to use the Sylph one. But uh, I, if I time it right, I might be able to like fly past the enemy and get the Rogetsu going. Uh, across my gear, I have damage dealt sword combo ability, MP cost sword combo ability, because I just don't feel like looking at anything else. Uh, agility, during Lightbringer damage dealt, agility being the, the main stat for how I'm going to get damage out of this build. Uh, and then I have Fenrir across my gear to try to get more agility out of the Gambler just because the Gambler gets such high amounts of agility. And then on some pieces of gear like the accessory or some others I have status ailment resistance and damage taken at max HP and I'm trying to get those to about 100% um, or minus 100% for damage taken at max HP just so that my Lightbringer lasts longer when I do get hit, unless it's enemy attacks, deplete buffs, dragon trials. Some pieces of gear, I tried to find the next highest damage dealt I could come across. So critical damage dealt on some pieces of gear, enemy weakness damage dealt on others, because I'm going to be using the Hunter's Analyze, so they're going to be weak to something, or damage dealt at max HP. Um, and then I have on my combo abilities, Rogetsu, even though it's very expensive. So I, I do need at least three bars to get started. But uh, with all the, the MP cost sword combo ability, my hope is that it does not cost me very much. And I could potentially just kind of keep going um, once I get my parry MP recovery uh, kicking in there. Command abilities, I do have Mighty Strikes to try to bypass the enemy's resistances for physical damage. I have Barrage because I have a lot of agility and I just want to be able to hit more often. Lunatic for the attack speed. Lightbringer for the survival. And also during Lightbringer damage dealt. And then my second job is the Hunter 
type of job that has um, the the infinite light bringer. I call it. It's being called the infinite light bringer, so that's what I'll be calling it at the moment. Um, but just to kind of recap, uh, but not not to go full into this is cyclic warrior six hundred percent, void knight four hundred percent, evoker one twenty percent, leviathan primary blessing, and then category four master points into increase MP limit boost rate. So at the bottom, the second item from the bottom center there, increase MP limit boost rate, category four master points. Uh, and then just enough soul shield MP recovery to maybe uh, refresh with, with enough uh, MP. And then uh, other parts here, just for convenience, I have hunter 400% in case I need to shoot the enemy, get some MP back up. The Gambler won 20% to chain cancel and try to get some MP, regular MP. I have the, and then I have Summoner won 20% so that I can build max MP every once in a while. And the Samurai 250% is, is for a different build, but uh, it could help. Across my gear, trying to have improved effect analyze. Uh, and then I do have some MP cost analyze if I didn't have improved effect barrage at the time. And I didn't. Uh, so improved effect analyze, improved effect barrage, light bringer duration, buff duration, trying to get that across the build. I do happen to have carbuncle blessings um, and luck so that I, because I do use gambler 120% and I chain cancel and that might give me some regular MP uh, as I, 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 I do stuff. So yeah, improved effect analyze across the board. One piece of gear that has Leviathan, even if my accessory probably ends up having it. Nope, not this one. Okay. Um, sometimes I might even use chain shot on the aiming link so that the enemy gets hit with a chain shot that hits them 25 times and builds up uh, stacks for this hunter's analyze or the machinist's uh, heart shot builds up the 99 stacks that bypasses the enemy's defenses so maybe that and then just for reference i ha i do have two allies here a stat sticks liberator 600 percent giving me 12 percent of their stats as long as they're alive how they stay alive with the lionheart accessory invincible and then uh d-pad left and right or letters r or t on the keyboard uh, keeping them alive for, uh, um, well, yeah, keeping them alive. And then uh, the rest of their gear is just trying to stack it up for agility. So Assassin giving the most agility, Samurai being up there for agility. Could have also been Ninja or uh, Thief or I think even Duelist. Um, yeah, shoot, I think even Gambler. That might have been me. Uh, so anywho, and then across the gear, agility, and ideally I would have had uh, strength, but this luck is fine for Gambler, I guess. Uh, also, Lightbringer duration, and if I had it, Fenrir gear for more agility, but sometimes I didn't have that. Uh, some of these builds are for, I, I thought I updated them, and save got all messed up, and I just haven't bothered to redo it yet. Sophia, uh, for now, she's on Dragoon because Dragoons get more agility than the other jobs. But I probably could have used Ash as uh, a monk or something. Anywho, we're going to try one boss on the world map. Uh, we're going to do the infamous... Actually, we're going to go for um, Merilith because she has such high agility that that would make our build ineffective so we're going to see we'll call it the problem areas of this build uh, but i am going to summon chain cancel so job action and then change jobs and on the world map things don't always work that smoothly uh, the more luck you have the better off that chain cancel is with Gambler with 
Uh, but I'm going to try to do a Lunatic, a Mighty Strikes, a Barrage, uh, the Heart Shot Chain Cancel, and then Lightbringer. Go in here. Uh, left pad, right. Left pad, right. Ooh. Uh-oh. My recording is acting up. Yeah. I think my computer is done for. <laughs> yeah, I can't record and play at the same time. There must be something else happening here. Is the ventilation going? Okay. And more or less, that's how it could have been done, except that uh, my, my computer's <laughs> clearly not able to keep up anymore. Uh, oh well. So hopefully we have enough space to actually just throw this gear to the side and, uh, and then try this in the rift real quick. Because uh, this video is getting a bit long for... Uh, sort of an impromptu build um please okay we have enough so what monsters would i use i probably would say the two agility monsters so the wolf and the goblin and then the behemoth uh so let's do that uh Goblin, Wolf, Behemoth is already here. So the Goblin for the Agility, the Wolf for the Agility, the Behemoth for the damage dealt to bosses and the combo ability stat bonus, because we have a lot of Agility and trying to squeeze that out. Coral is going to still be here because of the increased monster quest efficiency. And I'm going to choose Mrs. Pickles. Prickles. Because I happen to have a lot of assassin job affinity. Uh, but if I didn't have that assassin job affinity, I probably would choose bomb for now because of the damage dealt to bosses and that kind of building up pretty quickly. So let's check our rift stats, how they look. We have 1200 plus agility. We have Jed and between Jed and Sophia, we have 2000 agility and we get 12% of that. So an extra 240 agility for our Corsair. Um, and we're going to find a rift to suffer. Maybe multiple bosses. Oh, how many bosses? Five bosses, okay. So I'm gonna start this with a Mega Aether and um, same kind of deal. I'm going to try to do a lunatic, uh, a lunatic of mighty strikes, but this time I'm probably going to try to do a light bringer early and then a barrage and then the analyze slash the heart shot, try to chain cancel just to recuperate some MP. And then I start trying to go for, Oh, sorry. D pad left and right. And then I'm going to try to do a uh, rogetsu and hope that the, my computer doesn't crash. Okay, so can I set anything lower? No, okay. Oops, wrong job. So at this point, as the hunter stacks got too high, um, we're starting to do more HP damage than we are in, uh, break damage. <laughs> oh, crap. He had too many. Uh, his beard. Tentacle beard. Hmm. 
Oops. Instead of Swift Slash, we're actually going to switch this over to Rogetsu. So we just constantly keep using Rogetsu. Okay. Mm, da, 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 da. What kind of gambler doesn't like to gamble? Well, I'm scared. We beat the chaos out. Oops, I did not mean to do that. We beat the chaos out of Kraken. And, uh, poor Kraken. Too many, uh, too much on the face. Sometimes we do that to refresh our buffs with Summoner 400%. Yeah, Hunter 400% would have been nice for this, just because... We wouldn't have to worry about Samurai or not, we just keep going. So that's that's how Rogetsu life could be uh, once you get going. And I think that was the last boss. Um, but yeah, uh, so yeah, thanks Nier for posing the question and um, I will probably spend the next few days trying to sort out my inventory to make room for our next build video or I'm gonna wait for the chimes or just do a separate save mass purge stop climbing and then just try it just for the build uploads but yeah I, I hope that helps uh, again kind of really skirting sorry that uh, that, that that was a uh, um, a little god moving at high speed. Okay, anywho, we'll stop the video before anything worse happens. Uh, yeah, uh, until next time.